Hello and welcome people back to wandering around the room and figuring out what the fuck to do next. The game. Exactly. Where um, we last basically... left off, Nico gave Stan a bunch of money. Thank you, Nico. I never give you money. <laughs> so yeah, here is... Uh, uh, here is something we... For some reason, don't decide to take one of the ham, uh, one of the thirty hammers we carry in our pockets, and I mean, we we do have hammers. Considering and, what the fuck? Uh, it's um. It's a giant brain with eyes. Yes, and they close in different directions. It's awesome. One is vertical and one is horizontal. Yeah, anyway, as I was about to say, you probably don't even need the hammer. You could probably just get Edward to freaking just kick the wall in, considering how strong he is. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I would probably have him use the hammer. <laughs> you know, co considering with his dexterity and strength and really nothing else, because I don't invest into luck. Yeah. Well, luck is w well. There is no real reason to uh, invest into luck since it doesn't seem like uh, there is anything like uh, what you would say. Uh, there, there don't seem to be critical hits. So if there were critical hits, maybe. But as it stands, there is just little to no point. I'm telling but you, man, yeah. luck but is yeah. secretly the best stat in the game. Yeah, I actually looked up the uh, looked up on walkthroughs. Nobody invests into luck. What does it even do? <laughs> Just... The game itself isn't even sure. <laughs> like... uh, the only hint they give you is that it like it would be something that prevents status condition uh, like. It gives you a higher chance of avoiding a stat condition, uh, or uh, a fi maybe finding an item after a fight, since they're already so random anyway. Uh, but yeah, here ex we examine this door and uh, we put in a couple of the statues. But we don't have the third one, sadly. Yeah, we'll be get we'll we'll be getting it eventually. Actually, in this episode. Um. And so now, uh, since we don't really have anything else to do in the uh, in the library, um, we are going to backtrack to that one uh, to that one area we unbolted earlier before the uh, before the f uh, fight with Elias. And uh, that awesome cutscene. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and also, what I what I do after well, nah, I'll just say it later. And here we have the uh, double tick face. Yeah. That's what we're gonna call him, double tick face. As long as he dies. Yeah. The. Also, uh, one thing I, uh, I I don't think I mentioned before. I really like how basically every enemy has a different sound for uh, both for uh, like their cries and also them uh, their walking. <laughs> like uh, the one that's uh, uh, the froggy scorpion, uh, the froggy uh, scorpion claw uh, had uh, like this. Uh, Flopping on uh, just this wet sound of uh, yeah, something yeah, yeah. flopping on the uh, on a stone surface, whereas the uh, uh, intestine br uh, br vertical ice brain uh, had uh, like this sh uh, shoving along the ground sound, or uh, that thing uh, has just like. Uh, nails, uh, this kind of. Although I cannot do it uh, right here. Yeah. There is there is quite uh, quite a lot of uh, 
there was quite a lot of work put into it, and it seems like they actually uh, did record uh, record all of those themselves, as opposed to like you know using stock f uh, stock footage. But my question is, where's the sheriff? What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, so now what are we fighting? The jester and the floppy face. Floppy oh, fly. Okay. The floppy bird. The creepy floppy bird. Well, that didn't last long. Also, when do we get to meet the old couple again? Um... I think it's disc free. So in like uh, four episodes. Oh okay. Cool. Or eat more pie. Yay! No. No. You fool! Why did you eat? Why didn't you eat more pie? Because I needed to be faster. <laughs> and you can be faster if you have pie. You can have both at the same time. Why not? That's not how the world works. Should be how the world this, works. This game illustrates it very well. You can be fast and have pie at the same time, but you can't do that at the next level. Uh, That's also how the world works. I guess so. Yeah, so let's mosey around and find the edge that actually lets us climb up to this thing. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's very particular about it. It's very particular about its coffee. It's very particular about everything. And we're back at the caretaker caretaker's quarter. Oh, doesn't this bring back memories? Hmm. The of cockroaches. Death and, and then, well, there there wasn't much death and destruction. There were just cockroaches. So death and destruction. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't exactly say cockroaches uh, equal to death and destruction. I, I I would. I don't agree with you. <laughs> Where are you even going? To these, to, to these things like stairs. And, guess and the enemies actually get replaced. Huh. Yeah, uh, for the most, uh, like, once you switch the discs, all of the enemies uh, in the older areas get uh, buffed, slash. Yeah. Or rather, they don't get buffed. Uh, they will practically always remain with the same HP, same attack. But there will be new enemies in the older areas. Mm. So, uh, like... Because of this, uh, instead of, uh, like, F... Because, as I've shown before, you can just go back through those doors once you uh, once you un uh, unbolt them. It's not like Resident Evil 1 where... Uh, oh, and, yeah, the red key isn't useful anymore, and we can nab their stuff wh while they're not around. Wow. There's some food left on the table. On the table. Let's it's eat it. I'm sure it's not spoiled or poison or anything. It most it's most surely poisoned. <laughs> you got a badge. That's why we don't uh, we don't pick it up. Although we do pick uh, like earlier on, uh, we do pick up like bread and cheese from their kitchen. But I guess since uh, Kodelka was e able to tell uh, if it was poisoned just based on the smell, mm -hmm. I guess it was. I guess it was safe. <laughs> she or she's very peculiar about her dairy products. I'm very particular about my coffee. <laughs> sure. F F K. In the coffee. <laughs> I don't know why I love that line so much. It's this is the facial expression. And also here, important enemy, black cat. They're kind of rare in this room. As in I've only ever run into two of them. 
they drop a very powerful magical weapon called Cat's Eyes that for some reason classify as gloves. Although it's an eye. That's weird. Yeah, so and... Shoot it! And for some reason, the cat can, t can take quite a beating. Seriously. Poor kitty. God. Yeah, but I never actually get the weapon. I even go back here uh, once more uh, later on, but uh, sadly I never, f uh, I never get it. That's why you need to increase your luck stat. No. Yes. No. Why? I refuse to do so. <sighs> You're no fun. And here is one part of uh, an important puzzle later on that will help us advance. And here is something I have no idea what it actually does. <laughs> you found a mask. Uh, actually, I might have a clue, but I will explain what it is after this cutscene. Hey, what's this? The Princess Alice? She was a pleasure boat that went down in a terrible accident in the Thames. This one, too. And this one. What's going on? They're all the Princess Alice. Yeah, so, um... Well, that the was thing w <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, uh, in any case, uh, the only thing I can come up with when it comes to the mask is that it lowers the encounter rate. Although I cannot really, um... I'm not 100% certain if that's true. I thought it turned you into a green monster who liked to run around and prank people and shoot them. Yeah. You know, superhero kind of thing. Hmm. It's it's sadly it's not Shadow Hearts too. <laughs> if only. Some floating chairs is enemy style. Ghostly floating chairs. <laughs> Just put a bed sheet over them and it'll be complete. Yes. <laughs> what if that was an enemy in this fucking game? <laughs> I wish. Why? They're already so ridiculous. Just a bedsheet ghost going, ooh. <laughs> I'm, mm, I'm kind of curious if it's an, uh, if there is an enemy like. I don't think there is an enemy like that in like Shadow Hearts 2 or 3. This is the best walking animation ever. Let him go. Um. I would expect an enemy like that from Shadow Hearts either 2 or 3, though. But I don't think there is one. And here, uh, what you uh, what you could see, uh, what was really cool, um, when he got hit, he kind of uh, acted like a marionette. Like, you could... S he, uh, he acted as if there were strings attached to his uh, arms or something. Now, but uh, coming back to the cutscene, uh, Something on a on an editing note, uh, I decided to try uh, remastering some of the cutscenes, and by remastering, I add a little bit of blur around them because, while I don't do that for the gameplay, simply because I find the um, pixely look uh, a lot more charming than the blurry one. For the cutscene, they uh, for the cutscenes they actually look kind of better if I uh, if I smudge the pixels a little bit. Because, like, even, um... Uh, 
even like in the for example the PSP games uh they uh they use a blur effect for uh for the cutscenes i've uh, i've noticed like when playing final fantasy type 0 uh because uh, otherwise they uh they would be they would just be too sharp and here i show off w what it actually is you actually ran out of item space that's surprising oh uh, yeah I don't think I do show what it is, but well, we will, we we've seen what it is. Um, it's what we need for that thing. And here I decided to, instead of going through the doors uh, back, I just I decided to go all the way around, uh, like how the game progressed, mostly to get a couple levels, and so, because I I wanted to grind before. Uh, however, uh, I just didn't, f uh, the encounter rate it was way too low to just uh, walk back and forth and back and forth next to a save point. And besides, since I, uh, since I get, l uh, get all of my magic and everything after I level up, and the enemies are so easy anyway, uh, it just didn't seem like uh, I like a necessity to stay uh, next to a heal spot. And also, I, there were a couple things I wanted to check, and a couple enemies I have never seen, like for example this uh, ghoul over here, or zombie or whatever, I don't think we've seen that variation before. No idea. No idea. Nothing and we all. get a lot of panaceas from it. Hmm. And here is something, uh, also something I wanted to show off. This is the area where we switched the disc to. I was actually curious if it uh, if it lets me uh, go down there because in that cutscene it just uh, kind of, you know, explodes and tap a little foot and jump down. <laughs> she didn't jump at all. She just kind of transitioned into it. Uh, not enough animation budget. And here is uh, something I wanted to show off. Uh, even though I have one of their dolls, I don't have the other one. So um, if I uh, try to take it away from them, uh, they begin to speak. Oh dear. And then they attack me. Uh huh. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Now, I don't know if the, if they actually attack you. Or not, uh, because uh, like I uh, I do a couple moves against them uh, to ju just to show off something. They don't get damage. They everything always misses. So the only way to actually get away uh, to actually finish this encounter is to run away. Uh, but I, I don't know if they fight back. I don't know if they actually have any moves, because if they don't, this is actually a fantastic way to uh, increase the level on your magic and weapons. True. You because... Use without worrying. Yeah, exactly, and uh, something, uh, something I know is that you don't actually need to hit anything in order to uh, gain levels on magic. Something I exploit later on. <laughs> yeah. In order to run away, you actually have to press. Uh, it's it's a hidden option. You have to press square and then hit escape. They they also uh, they have also hidden it the same way in Shadow Hearts One, which. Uh, I'm kind of okay because uh, because it keeps the menu uh, to just four uh, to just four options, and you can't uh, you basically can't uh, uh, run away by accident. However, at the same time, the option is hidden. So, and there is one particular encounter in the game where you just have to run away in order to progress it with the story. And there are also other uh, other encounters like that one, 
uh, where you just need to run away in order to just get out and get the hell out of there. <laughs> because otherwise, you, well, you can't beat them, you cannot progress further, and you're just stuck. And you never get any prom that it is, uh, well, first of all, there, there is no tutorial in the game. And uh, even in the options menu, it doesn't uh, it doesn't give you a clue that it may be an option. It does give you a clue that uh, uh, it may be. Uh, mm. no, it actually says it's unassigned. So there goes that. And the pose. <laughs> and and of course, we... more leveling. It's ridiculous. It will never stop being like this. <laughs> 